guys, this is Mark. We just released a fantastic new feature that will make your life of retrieving data from backend list just a breeze. Highly intuitive, completely visual mechanism for creating fairly complex and composite queries into the database. The name of the feature is just views. So what is a view? A view is sort of a virtual table. Just think about your database. You have multiple tables, relations between tables. You have columns that are uh, relational columns where you can go from one table to another and get the related data. A view is sort of a virtual table, as I just said, where you can pick and choose individual columns from related tables to create that one composite virtual table. So for instance, let's say if you have table called person and table person has a relational column to a table called address. And let's say there is a column that is called addresses in the table person. The addresses links to one or more addresses for any given person. And let's say you want to create a virtual table, just that view where you get person's name and then their corresponding addresses. The way you would do it with views is you would just open up what we call view designer and in there you can select table person select the column that you need would be, that would be a name you instantly see the result of creating the view because it just shows you the data that uh, is being retrieved and then for the related table it will actually show the entire tree of all the related tables and then right there there will be table address and then from the table address you just pick and choose individual columns that would be related to that corresponding person. So in a single view, you can get name of the person and let's say the city that that person lives in. And that view can be saved and uh, we provide the API where you can retrieve data for that created view. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more that you can do with those views. For the columns that you have added, you can create aggregating functions. So you can aggregate this data, just create counts. You can create averages, minimum, maximums, whatever makes sense. You can do some transformations. Uh, whenever you get the data, let's say you want to turn uh, the value into uppercase or whatever makes sense. There is a bunch of different uh, transformational functions that can be applied in Backhandless View Designer. You can rename those columns and then assign aliases. You can create conditions for which must be met in order for that object to be retrieved. There is a lot and uh, it is it is highly functional where you can compose it visually and just retrieve the data with a single query. Once you create a view, you can retrieve that data using two different mechanisms and the view designer actually provides a code generator that will give you the code to retrieve the data from the server side and then you can retrieve the data with a single api call and then all the transformations all the filtering uh, all the aggregations that you have configured will be automatically calculated alternatively it will give you a query for the client side that essentially includes all those transformations, aggregations, and so on right there in the client side code. So there is a different mechanism to get the data. And there are some uh, differences one why you would want to use one approach versus the other. There will be a few more videos that talk about each individual uh, feature within view designer and then how to work with the views. And uh, I recommend to watch them because the true power of getting the data out of backendless in a very sophisticated way is now available through this very intuitive, very visual interface. Um, so please watch additional videos and uh, I hope you will find that feature very useful. We already started using it in the projects that we do for, for our customers and uh, I'm sure you will, you will be able to utilize them as well. Thank you for watching this video and as always, happy coding.